Get it one, BH Dad here. Had a few inquiries about one of my past videos, which is the Dell WD 19 TB dock. Now, they actually asked about how does that react with Linux based operating system computers. So, what did I do? Load up Ubuntu on this Dell Latitude 5401. Now, I've done a review on all these products before. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check them out. But pretty much at the back behind me, I've got the WD19 TV dock right here, and I've got three 24 inch monitors so you can actually see how that runs with this Ubuntu Latitude 5401. So pretty much I've got these two monitors, my right one and the center one. Now they're connected by display port and I've got my left one connected by HDMI port. So looking at more closer to the back of a dock, I've actually got two display port and a HDMI port connected and the USB keyboard and mouse connected and of course the power as well too. I already got this turned on already. So pretty much I've got the keyboard and mouse connected by USB as well. And pretty much it's the Thunderbolt port. So I just connect that up. And let's see what will come up with it. Now you can start it up. Let's have a look. So I'm just using the power button on the dock there. And voila, and it does work there. So the power button works on, it does replicate that and pretty much keyboard mouse and works. Now there is a trick to the keyboard and mouse. I'll show that a little bit later in the video, how to get that work. If you find that's actually not working and only the display is working. So I've actually can see I've got three displays working there and they are in extended mode there, which is great there. And we've got keyboard and mouse. Now, if you do bring up the monitor up here, if you flick the on display, I'll just turn another one of these on, keep changes. So I've now I've got these three on with the display, which is great. But if I try to put the built-in display, when I turn the built-in display on, I can't really turn it on, but if it does, it doesn't actually give me a apply button there. So I can't seem to get the, the built-in display to work at the same time with three. So I'm taking yes, this is the limitations, one of the limitations. So I've checked on the Dell website and there is no Linux based drivers for the WD19 dock. So I haven't been able to work to get four screens working, but at least you can get three screens working there. I'm going to show you how to actually enable the three screens on Ubuntu. Now there are of course different Linux distros uh, and you've just got to check the other guides to how to do that. It's usually in the settings and then display and then you manage to turn it on and then you can rearrange them as well. Uh, the major thing to note of is actually trying to actually get the USBs working. And this is one of the problems you will find and that is pretty much trying to enable and authorize the Thunderbolt on the computer itself or also on the software itself which is the Linux based software. So I'm going to show you that in the second part of this video. First off let's just show you the actual display settings there. So I'm going to show you how to actually turn on the other displays on the other monitors if you find you've connected the dock and it's only got one monitor working at the moment. So this is Ubuntu 18.04 and it's probably similar to all the other ones there. Pretty much all you need to do is just find settings. So I'll just go bottom left hand corner, click on that, then go to settings and look for display. At the moment it is sitting on devices for this one here. And then there is screen display on the left hand side. So after that, you'll see here um, near the middle here, you'll see a whole bunch of, you click on it and you'll actually see the whole bunch of different displays that it has detected. So at the moment, I've got the built-in screen. There is the second 24 inch, third 24 inch and fourth 24 inch. I know this is number four at the moment because it says number four on the top right here. So I know that's enabled. So I'll just enable number two and I'll just, and pretty much on the right hand side, you can click on, on, click on apply. And then that should turn on the second monitor here. So I'll just keep changes at the moment. So I've got one and two, and I'll go to the thing. You can tell one and two. So at the moment they're on left to right. I'm just gonna move it to the left because I know that's number two and that's number one. It is signified on top here. So I can tell there, I'm just gonna apply that one there. And I'll actually turn on the third monitor here as well. Let's just give it a little bit of time. 
I keep the settings. Okay, now I'm going to turn on the third monitor here. So I'll select number three because that's the missing one. I'll just turn that, flick that switch on again, and then click on apply. And again, keep changes. And at the moment, it's in the correct configuration at the moment. So I am doing well on left and right. And that's pretty much about the quick configuration on turning on the external monitors. At the moment, I've got the computer connected to the dock itself. And you will find that the displays are working, but the keyboard and mouse are definitely not working there. Um, so all the USBs are not working there. So this is a, one of the problems that you may find and that is really to do with authorization of the Thunderbolt. And I'm just going to show you how to do that in the software in Ubuntu uh, 18.04. And I will also show you the easy way, which is actually just disable it or authorize it through the BIOS itself. So at the moment, I've got to use a trackpad here because my mouse is not working. So you just go to settings in Ubuntu and pretty much I had before. So in, if it's go back to the settings here, you go to devices here and then you go to Thunderbolt and in Thunderbolt at the moment, what you need to do is select, it will detect the device itself. And at the moment, uh, I've got it authorized, but before it was not authorized. So you need to click on connect and authorize. Uh, and that will then authorize the actual Thunderbolt there. Cause at the moment it is set to user authorization there. So once that is done, you'll see that my mouse is now working there, which is great. But I'll just show you how to do this in BIOS. So I'm just going to turn this computer off first. So what you gotta do is just turn the computer on. Now this is a Dell, I press F12 straight away to get to a one-time boot menu. If you got Lenovo, just press enter. And if you got HP, I think it is F9. All right, I'm just gonna to go to BIOS setup. It's all the same idea for the other manufacturers, but this is for Dell. Press BIOS setup itself. Now, this is for this particular laptop here which is a Dell. I'm looking for a system configuration. I know in Lenovo is very similar in that as well and then after that I'm looking for Thunderbolt adapter configuration. Now Lenovo and HP is the exact same. We just look for the Thunderbolt uh, option there and this one here is a little bit easy to see so at the moment it is set to by default it's really is set to user authorization. I normally just set it to no security and I would enable Thunderbolt boot support. What that allows it to do is when it's in BIOS, um, before it gets to Windows or any other operating system, it will make the dock work. So it's good for when you're trying to image these computers or through the Thunderbolt, else your ethernet port won't work on the dock itself. And you gotta plug it directly to the computer itself. And just press exit and that would save it. And I'm going to actually press the power button to see if it will actually do anything. Yes, it will. It looks like it's going to try and turn the computer off or it gives me options to actually restart the computer or turn the computer off, which I'll do. So it will replicate what you do on the power button on your laptop. I hope you find this very informative and useful. If you did, give it a like. And if you haven't done it already, subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner screen. I do try to upload a new video every Tuesdays. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.